everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Well, it's been six weeks since I posted my initial first use and uh, coupon code for the product PMD that I had been testing. And this is the product, it's Personal Microdermabrasion. I know you've probably seen a lot of people on YouTube talking about this. It seems that they sent everybody the device to test out about the same time. Uh, so I did post a video about six weeks ago showing you me using it for the first time and giving you the basics on it. And I said that I would be back in about a month and a half in early September to show you my results. And so here I am. Today is results day. So as usual, I took pictures before I started and I took pictures after I finished. Let's just go over the basics of the product in case you didn't happen to catch that video. And then uh, we'll go into how it was to use it, what's in the box. And then of course, at the end, we'll see the results and how well I liked it. So you've probably heard of microdermabrasion and personal microdermabrasion. And this is basically an at-home version of what you would get in a dermatologist's office. So the way that microdermabrasion works is that it removes that top layer of dead skin cells that makes our skin look kind of dull and sort of lack radiance. And it also holds in a lot of the age spots and it's where all the wrinkles <laughs> sort of are. So by removing that initial layer of stratum corneum. It doesn't remove the whole thing, obviously, but by removing some of those dead skin cells, what it does is it kicks your skin into healing mode. And then what that does is causes faster turnover. All right, so what is in the box? Here it is. This is the device. Um, this retails for $179. I have a coupon code for you guys. If anyone decides to buy it based on my review, you'll get 25% off if you put in the coupon code, excuse me, if you put in the coupon code hot and flashy 25, all one word, uh, at checkout on the PMD website. And I will put the link here and I'll also put it in the information box below the video. All right, the device itself it's just a little handheld thing. It looks like this. It's very compact and small. Of course, I kept the whole box and everything just so I could keep it together. Um, this thing comes off. This is like the, the cap that protects it. And then this is the microdermabrasion head. Now, as you can see, I have the green one on here. This is the medium abrasion. It comes with three different levels of coarseness for the heads. I use this one last. Uh, so basically to replace the heads, you take this little cap off, you just pull that right off, it pulls out, and then every time you use it, there's a little like foamy filter in here, and you're supposed to wash the filter and wash the head after each use. Now it also comes with a number of other heads. First is the white training tip, and that's the first one that you're supposed to use, so make sure that you really don't hurt yourself. Then it comes with two blue tips and those are the sensitive tips for sensitive skin and then as I said it comes with the one green tip and that is the medium tip. Alright so I decided to work up to that. It also comes with two blue bigger body tips and one bigger green body tip. Alright and in order to use the body tips that's why you take this off because it has a smaller opening there and you put this one on and that one has the bigger opening. Now you don't want to use the body tips on your face because it's a bigger disc and these guys, it works by spinning so it spins super fast and you know the spinning it would just cause too much drag on your skin. So don't be thinking like, oh I want to do a bigger area if you decide to use this and use the body tip on your face because it won't be good. You probably hurt yourself. So stick to the tips that it came with. All right, this is not battery operated. It has a cord and you plug it in every time you use it. It's really easy and convenient so you don't have to worry about it not being charged. And the cord is really, really long. Look at all that cord you get and nice and thin. So you basically just plug the cord into the back, I mean the, the bottom, and give it a twist and you're set to go. Right, so when you put it on, this is what it sounds like. and that little guy is spinning in there. And when you get the suction, it sounds like that. And when you run it over your skin, you get your suction. Well, it's hard to do on your hand. Like that. So that's all you do. 
All right, now if you want to watch my previous video where I used it for the first time, I'm not going to demo it in this video because this is really the review, but I'll put the link to that video right here so you can click over to that one. It'll open in a separate window so you can watch it afterwards, or you can watch it now and then come back to this one. And I'll also put the link in the information box below this video. So the tip is made of aluminum oxide crystals and they're not as hard as the diamonds obviously that they use at your dermatologist's office. So they wear out pretty quickly. So these need to be replaced. All right, and so they're good for between two and four uses. So the replacements cost $14.95 and you get a, a set of six, four of them for the face and two for the body in one strength. And according to the company's website and their literature, this will do a myriad of great things for your skin. Uh, those would be that it's gonna remove the dead, dull skin on the surface, uh, and thereby reduce the appearance of your fine lines and wrinkles, reduce the appearance of your pores, reduce the appearance of your age spots and any um, discoloration that you have, and that it'll also help your um, skincare products absorb better into your skin and therefore work better. You're not supposed to use it if you're using any kind of uh, chemical exfoliant on your skin, which Retin-A is a chemical exfoliant, um, retinols are chemical exfoliants, and glycolic acid. The recommendation had been to be off of the Retin-A for an entire seven days. So I think I waited a full seven days to get off my Retin-A and then I started doing this. But I felt like I was worried that my skin was a little sensitive, so I eased in slowly with it, as I do with everything, because, you know, it is scraping off the top layer of your skin, so I didn't want to hurt myself. All right, so I'll tell you about how it was for me to use. Um, the first time I used it, which is in that video, you can see, uh, I it actually, you know, I felt like I was kind of in wood shop sanding away the top of my face. Um, it works really well on this area of the cheek. You get really good suction there. You kind of have to hold the skin taut and then do the suction. Um, where I didn't get very good suction is where I'm more bony. So on my forehead, you know, because I had planned on doing my whole face. Of course, you can't do the sensitive area below your eyes or below between your eyebrows and your eyelashes. So you don't do anywhere pretty much inside your orbital bone there um, of your eyes. But the rest is fair game. So I was going to do like my upper lip, my nose, my chin. But I found that I couldn't really get a good suction on most of my face. So my forehead couldn't get a good suction, my nose couldn't get a good suction, my chin couldn't really get a good suction. I was really hoping for good results on my like wrinkly skin right here. Um, when I was a teenager, this is where I would always get a big zit. Like I wasn't very acne prone, but I would get like one giant honker burger <laughs> right there or right there. And I would always blast it with the benzoyl peroxide and it really like chronically dried out that skin so that it's wrinklier right there than the rest of my skin. So I was really hoping to get some good results there, but I couldn't get a good suction in that area. Um, I did do like one stripe on like a mustache on my upper lip. And then from here, you know, you're supposed to go in an upward motion, motion. So I would do stripe, 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 stripe. Try to do a few down here. Try to get a few up here. Try to get a few up here. I found it very difficult to use on most of my face. And I also felt like the tip is so small that, you know, if you do five stripes here, you're kind of missing a lot. So my first use, um, let me just bring in this picture to show you what it, my skin looked immediately after using it. And then the next morning. So as you can see, immediately after using it, my face was quite red and irritated. But by the next morning, uh, it was all calmed down and it looked fine. So I managed to do it without hurting myself, without doing anything too deeply. But of course, I was using the white training disc. Uh, so that was great. I didn't really see any results after that. And as I said, you use this once a week and then you're supposed to see results over time. So it's not an instantaneous kind of thing. Then for uses um, two, three, four, and five, I used the blue medium disc. And then for use six, six, I bumped up to the green, uh, I'm sorry, the blue sensitive disc. And then for use, the last use, I bumped up to the green uh, medium disc. Okay. So when I did once a week, I did it every Sunday night. It was like my little ritual. I would, you know, say goodnight to everybody early, go up to my bathroom, take off all my, you know, wash my face, take off my makeup and what I called sand my face. <laughs> It really is not time consuming. It's very quick to do. They also had included some samples of their products with it. And so there was a toner and a moisturizer and a face wash, which all were very lovely. And I got to say, after my first use using that little white 
um, the training disc, I used their toner and their moisturizer immediately after, and um, I didn't have any pain for like stinging from the products. Then when I used the blue disc and the green disc, um, I used my uh, witch hazel, my not my alcohol free witch hazel as the toner, and then I used the CeraVe PM moisturizer and the Olay Regenerist micro sculpting serum before that. After using the blue disc, the toner didn't hurt, but the moisturizer did sting quite a bit. And when using the green disc, uh, both the toner and the moisturizer stung when I put them on right after using it. I felt like the kid from Home Alone Ooh, after he slaps on the aftershave. I was like, oh wow, holy cow. So, um, so just so you know, when you put on your products afterward, it may sting or you might want to buy their products because I found that their products didn't sting. But like I said, I was using only the training disc. So that was pretty much the whole story of me using it. Um, what I was really hoping that would be the results would be, like I said, on this like crinkly skin that I have down here, I was hoping that it would reduce that kind of um, texturiness that I have here. And also I had been, you know, having my hormonal acne for the last year and so I have a lot of uh, leftover acne spots, just little red spots all over the place on both my cheeks. And I was hoping to see a real diminishment of those. So let's get to what we've all been waiting for, which is the before and after pictures. Now, as I always say, my disclaimer on my before and after pictures is I am an amateur taking the pictures here in my home and I take them myself. So I'm holding the camera, you know, like this and trying to focus on, you know, whatever and trying to match the lighting and match the amount of smile. This is my disclaimer. This is not scientific results. This, these photos are not taken in a lab, but they are as good as I can get. They're also not retouched in any way. So they are what they are. And so I like to let you be the judge based on looking at the pictures and determining what you see. Let me bring in the full front face picture. I look at these two and I pretty much think the difference that I see is in the redness on my cheeks right in the front right there. Uh, on the after picture, I think my cheeks are slightly less red right in the front. I do not see a difference though in my wrinkles, my spots, or my pores. Um, and you may disagree with that, and if you do, then you might think that I had better results than I think I had. Okay, so that's why I put it out there for you guys to be the judge. And these are nice and nice up close. I have no makeup on in any of these pictures, as you can clearly see. <laughs> Um, I'm, I look rough first thing in the morning. Um, okay, so now let me bring in the one side and on this one uh, I think you can see the same thing. It didn't reduce my blemishes any. I still broke out the whole time I was using it. So on that side I think you can see that it didn't really take care of the red marks very well and as you can see I had new breakouts forming as well. So now let me bring in the other side of my face and on this one, I think you can pretty much see the same thing. I think my crow's feet wrinkles look about the same. I think my pores look the same. I think on this one is the one where you can see my um, that wrinkliness on my chin that I don't like very much. And I think that you can see that that is pretty much the same. So from my standpoint, I think I look pretty much the same. I really was hoping, as I always am, for great results with this stuff, but on me, where I had to stop my Retin-A, I think that I was getting better results with my Retin-A than I was getting with this, and so I'm not going to be using it much anymore, considering that I have to go off my Retin-A to use it. I know some people have written in and said they use their Retin-A and they use this device, and it's great. I am not willing to do that, so you know, whatever, to each his own. But um, but the pros on this thing, even though I'm making it sound like not great, is that if you're not using Retin-A or you can't use Retin-A, I think this is, you know, a reasonable solution because there were some benefits to it. Like I did feel like my skin was softer and smoother after I used it. Uh, without looking at the before and after pictures, it just, you know, looking at my skin, I kind of felt like the little red spots were diminished a little bit, but the one big pro on it is that once you've like done it a few times, your face is really much smoother and you don't have that, like with using Retin-A and glycolic acid, you always have the sloughing. It's like this constant little sloughing that makes your makeup so hard to put on. And I gotta say, once I had used this for like three, three to four times, 
my face was so smooth. I didn't have any more of that sloughing going on. I didn't have any more of that stuff where you put on the makeup and it you, it pills up and it gets all those dead skin cells in it. I didn't have little dead skin cells in my eyebrows or anything. So from that standpoint, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that my face was smoother. My makeup went on better. So, um, you know, as usual with these things, I don't tell you run out and buy it. I don't tell you don't run out and buy it. But it's your money. You know what you can afford. You know what's a good value for you. Based on some other people's results, they've had good results. And so it may be better for slightly younger skin, you know, that, that isn't as wrinkly as mine. It may have uh, better results for younger people. Now, I know some people used it longer, more like three months. And I've been watching some of their reviews and they um, seem pretty happy with it, where I used it for six weeks. If you do enjoy microdermabrasion and you get it at the doctor's office and you want to try doing it at home and saving yourself some money, I think this is a decent way to go. Um, and I think for, you know, the price of the unit with the 25% off, it's not bad, but you also have to factor in that you do need to rebuy those um, replacement heads from time to time. And so that's it. It was not, um, you know, the most fabulous thing. I didn't have the most fabulous results. I didn't mind using it. I actually kind of enjoyed my Sunday night ritual of going up there and sanding my face. I wish that I it would have, you know, had better suction on more parts of my face. And so from that standpoint, then I was thinking, well, maybe I'll start using my retin-A on my forehead and my chin and, you know, not do it over here and keep doing this over here. So I was kind of torn. I was going to maybe keep using it on these parts of my face where it did get good suction. I also did use it on my neck a few times. I tried to use it on my hands. I thought, well, even if I can't continue using it on my face, I really want to use it on my hands. But again, no good suction on the hands. So that was kind of a bummer. So um, that's pretty much it. Kind of a mixed bag for me. Not a 100% positive, not a 100% negative. Um, you know, stop the video on the pictures and take a nice close-up look so that you can see what you think. If you think it made an improvement, then by all, mean, use, all means, go ahead and use my 25% off discount code and pick yourself up one. But if you look at the pictures and like me, you don't see a big enough difference to make it worth the money, then maybe pass on this one. All right, um, and the one thing I did forget to say is thank you to the people at PMD who so kindly sent me their device for free to test out. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I do not have an affiliate link. I don't get anything if you buy this, so if you you know want to buy it, this is my honest opinion. I Not that that would change it and make it my not honest opinion. It's always my honest opinion. But um, just so that you know, there's no money changing hands between me and them, except that I receive the product for free. All right, so thanks everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will keep looking for that next great anti-aging, wrinkle-removing device as the search continues, <laughs> as the world turns, as the search continues. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.